Like they think laying in their bed swiping and having endless conversations that go nowhere is an actual life or a social or dating life, and it's not. You don't have to wait until the world is over. So, okay, um, people a lot of times you get like slightly uncomfortable. Like if you're on the subway and you meet someone's eyes, you can't really look away and then they're, they're looking at you and like you get like this back and forth. That kind of like subtle feeling of uncomfortability is something that's like it's very prevalent in being a human being, right? So technology, uh, it's kind of like instant stimulation. It's like looking at a TV or looking at Facebook or something, and then you don't have to deal with that. And so I feel like as as like a group of a group of animals, we're, we're kind of like losing our tolerance for this innate thing that is unco being uncomfortable. Fuck Tinder. Technology has completely changed the way we relate to each other, the way we're dating each other, the way we're connecting, or really to be truthful, not connecting with each other. What's happened is, is people feel like they have more options than ever. They have these things, they can just sign up, they're free, you pop a couple of pictures up and you start swiping and you start getting matches. They have 20 matches or 50 or 100 or 1,000 even, really. I've seen thousands of matches. Uh, endless conversations. They go to sleep, they wake up, and that person doesn't exist. And they never meet. It's like Flake Central. When I first started, there was no Tinder, there was no Bumble. They'd go on the date, they'd meet. They'd really you know, pay attention to the other person. They'd give them a shot. Now um, what's happened is, is there's an illusion or delusion, really. They believe they actually have a social life and a dating life, and they don't at all. Like they think laying in their bed swiping and having endless conversations that go nowhere is an actual life or a social or dating life, and it's not. And what it's done, um, for better or worse, uh, is make people feel like they have all this stuff going on, yet they, they never, they, it goes year after year where they don't actually have someone meaningful in their life that they wanted. And we have to come to the conclusion that the only way to find real love, to find real happiness, to have great friends, to have a great career, is to totally make peace with who you are right now. And then and only then can you find someone else that's amazing.